morning everybody TJ is Friday other than Saturday it's the happiest day of the week well Sunday's good Sundays I don't like much because then you have to get ready for Monday yeah. anyway you're on your ride along with D again sorry about the angle I usually have it up on my dashboard but he has to reach up there so you are on your ride along with D. I do these every day on my way to work. A little video, video diary about my thoughts, dreams, whatever, whatever. I just woke up, obviously, because I kind of look like I just woke up. Um, <coughs> subscribe, excuse me, below if you want to see more. This intro is sucky, so sorry. <laughs> I'm all over the place today already. Um, hit the little bell next to the subscribe button and it'll notify you whenever I upload a new video which is pretty much every day or every other day or so uh, um, stay tuned to this channel for more my daughter and I do some some videos and we're gonna be doing some makeup ones and I'm gonna be doing some crafting ones so lots to come on this on this channel I know we haven't done it a lot yet but it's on its way I promise anyway uh, if you don't like this video, I'm sorry. Just move on to the next video. Just click that button and go away. Okay, so let's get started. We are on our way to work. I am late again. I guess what's new? Nothing, because I'm late again. That's not new. Um, on my way to work today, yesterday's video, and I actually haven't posted that yet because it's a two-parter because my husband called and interrupted us in the midst of it so I have to splice them together which I'll do over the weekend on my computer I can't do it on my phone usually I try to do stuff on my phone as much as possible but um, yesterday I said on my video that I was gonna tell everybody what I ended up getting my daughter for her birthday yesterday was her birthday she turned 20 as you may or may not know because I've only been talking about it forever but anyway um, she turned 20 yesterday, and every year I would say to her, what do you want for your birthday? Like when she was little, I want a Barbie dream house. So I'd get her the Barbie dream house. Or I want a um, skateboard, and I'd get her a skateboard. Like she knew every year what she was getting for her birthday, and I knew what she wanted every year for her birthday. Well, this year she said, I don't need anything. I'm like, I know you don't need anything, but what do you want? I don't need anything, she kept saying. I don't need it, I don't need it. She would not give me any ideas as to what she wanted. So, she at one point said she wanted, um, this was a while ago, she wanted the Alex drawers for her makeup. She's got a lot of makeup from Ikea. So, I was like, well, I called her up yesterday. I'm like, do you want the Alex drawers? She's like, no, I don't want them. So, and then she wanted a camera, a really good camera. I said, how about a camera? I said, no, I don't want a camera. I'm like, what do you want? She says, nothing, I don't want anything. I said, oh my God. So. The other day, her and I went to a sporting goods store because she's going on a ski trip soon and she needed some stuff, gloves and whatever. And um, so we went to the sporting goods store to see what they had and they had a Yeti cup. For those of you that don't know what a Yeti cup is, it's like an aluminum cup and it's like double walled. So a lot of people are selling them now. There's a lot of uh, dupes out there for the Yeti cup. I actually have a dupe that I received from, uh, from somebody up in North Dakota and it works great. Like I could put in ice water this morning and tomorrow and tomorrow it would still be ice their ice would still be in it like it, it's like an insulated wall I don't know how it works but very very cool you put something hot in it the next day it's still hot like it's super super cool it's not electronic it's just a cup whatever you can put it in your car you can put it on your desk like I have one at work that I put on my desk at work I usually put ice water in it um, they're phenomenal. So anyway, she wanted one of them when we were at, at the sporting goods store. She saw one and she's like, oh my gosh, I always wanted one of them. So they used to be like $80, um, when they first came out. Now they're, I got hers yesterday. It's an actual Yeti cup. It's the brand for $29, $29.99, $30, whatever. Um, so I went and picked that up for her and then I'm like, what do I get her? Like, what do, so I was going to get a hundred dollar bill and stick a hundred dollar bill in there for her. I don't know, let her get her own stuff. Well, I didn't end up getting to the bank in time before it closed, so I didn't get the $100 bill. Um, so I just made a card, or had a card, and I just wrote $100, and she's like, what am I supposed to cash this? <laughs> I'm like, yeah. So we went to this, we went out last night. She, wa I was like, let's go out to dinner or something, something. She's like, no, she didn't want to do anything. So we ended up going, we 
we did go to a little restaurant that we go to often around town. She wanted to, their salad. She likes her salad. So we did that, my husband, her, and I. And then we dropped my husband off. We do like Sarah Mommy Days where we, or just her and I go out and hang out and go shopping and do whatever. Just girly stuff. So we ended up doing that last night. So we went to Target. No, we didn't go there first. We went to Ulta. She got a few things there. I'm like, you know, you have, you know, hundred hours to spend, whatever you want, whatever. Um, but she, when it comes to her spending her money, she's very particular. Like if it was, if I said to her, okay, you have a five hundred dollar shopping spree, get whatever, or she would go to town. No, she still wouldn't. I don't know. She's just particular when it comes to her money. Like if it's her money. So the hundred dollars was hers. So she just was like, no, I don't want this. I don't want this. And well, I ended up finding a few things I wanted. So I got a few things there. So she only got a few small items, nothing major there. Then we went to Target. Um, she, what did she get at Target? A few things. Nothing. Did she get anything at Target even? I don't even know. Maybe a few things. She was looking for clothes. I don't know that she found anything at Target. I did. <laughs> Then we went to the Christmas tree shop. I'm trying to think of who got what at the Christmas tree shop. Oh, okay. So she got a few things at the Christmas tree shops. Um, I got a few things, nothing major. And then we went to Burlington Coat Factory. And we were looking for boots for her for her ski trip. We found a few cute ones, but they weren't her size. So then we went... Oh, so she, she found a pocketbook she really liked. So I got her the pocketbook. But that wasn't part of her thing. Because she's like she wanted it and she really, really liked it. And then she like thought about it and it was like $40 out of her budget. And she's like, yeah, no. And I'm like, if I get it for you and it's not part of the $100, will you, you, will you use it? She's like, yeah. So I ended up getting it for her. She says, well, the card I got her says, I'm so spoiled on my birthday. And I'm like, and always afterwards because she's so spoiled. She's my baby. So I got her the, it's a, like a backpack pocketbook, it's really cute. I got her that, she got a bunch of makeup and, and uh, face wash and just stuff she wanted, needed, whatever, I don't know. Um, and then tonight we're going to the arcade, there's this big ass arcade, uh, about a half hour away from our house that uh, she likes. So we're going to go there, they have like a bar and they have bowling and darts and billiards and all kinds of arcade games and stuff and you have a card you put your money on the card and then you swipe your card and then you get points on your card as you win or whatever and then you can buy whatever from the store that they have there so she enjoys that she she likes to play the game so we're gonna go there her her friend is gonna go um and her friend's boyfriend and then i tried to get my i call him my brother but he's not like legally my brother but he's like a brother to me uh, him and his husband I'm trying to get them to go. They won't answer me, so I don't know. I'll see him at work today. I'll ask him. I'll bug him. Be like, you coming or what? And then her other friend might come, but I'm, I'm thinking no, because that, that's the girl I was talking about in yesterday's video. I think it was or the day before. Um, that her mother and I aren't really speaking, and uh, we have a little tip. Her mother has a bug up her butt. So the. Uh, mother kind of keeps the daughter away from my daughter and I think it's very petty and whatever she always has an excuse as to why and, and Sarah and her grew up together like they're best friends they were and every time Sarah kind of plans stuff with her the, the mother comes up with an excuse for her not to go so don't know she's coming I'm thinking no so I told Sarah just to move on you know like I'm sorry I know you know she's your friend and I'm sorry that her mother's the way she is and I'm sorry that she's letting adult problems get into young adult lives and it's not fair so but anyway that's a whole nother story for a whole nother day because I don't got time to explain only um so that'll be tonight we're going um so that'll be an expensive night though It'll probably be a good 100 200 hours there so, and then oh, I have so much homework to do. It's Friday, thank God. I have so much homework to do. Um, I had to write a three-page report by tomorrow night, midnight. And then I have a quiz that I have to take. But the book that I ordered, I'm like, oh, I found a deal for this book. Sorry about the sun. Um, it was $13. The book's like usually 100 and something. 
and I was like, oh, I got it for $13, da, 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 da. so I was telling another girl, she's like, I can't find the book, I can't find the book, and I was like, oh, I found it, $13, and then when I gave her the link, I realized that the book that I got is third edition, and I need it fifth edition, so the quiz is by the, from the book, like, the quiz is just all book stuff, so, um, I don't know how long it is, or how many questions the quiz is because I didn't open up yet because it's a time quiz. It's like an hour and a half. You have to take it. And I get so stressed out when I know it's a timed quiz or time test that I get so panicky. I have hair here. That I start, I have to pee. Like, thank you, lady. Um, so then all I think about is, oh my God, I got to take this test, but I got to pee. Got to pee. I got to pee. I got to be holding it and holding it and holding it and keep trying to concentrate on the questions and I end up just losing it. Like, I can't, it's too stressful, these time things. It's just horrible. Um, instead of just getting up and peeing for two seconds, I just sit there for 45 minutes worrying about peeing. <laughs> oh, mess. <laughs> so, I had to do that. And then, um, when to get that done this week or tonight maybe oh no i can't i'm going out tonight oh i'm gonna go tomorrow so and then sunday we have cheer so yeah tomorrow i'm gonna do laundry and uh my husband usually does laundry but he's not feeling well these days he's got some issues his defibrillator moved down so he's got to go in a couple weeks they're going to operate and move it back up and uh meanwhile he's in a lot of pain and just not feeling well so do some laundry and then what else? Today at work? It's going to be a busy day. I keep getting more and more stuff added to my plate. My, my job duties. Which is great. I like that. But at the same time, nothing's getting taken off. So, I have a crap load of stuff to do. And it just crap on top of a crap load of stuff to do. I love hours in the day. And then I'm coming in late again. To get online this weekend and work a little bit. I want to get my nails done too. I got to get them filled because look, they look horrible. Oh, can you see them? They're horrible. I got to get them filled and I got to even cut. They're way too long. See how long they are. So I'm going to get that done. It's hard to do stuff with them so long. I like the look of the long, but they're too long. It's hard to do stuff like doing my earring and jewelry and I was trying to open something yesterday and I had to use my teeth because I couldn't, my nails just wouldn't, uh, I ended up giving it to my daughter actually. I'm like, can you open this for me? And then she went and opened it. I'm like, how'd you do it? She's like, I don't have long nails to worry about. Yeah, lady. So we went to Ulta last night. Let me tell you what, this, these people at Ulta are beautiful. The makeup, I don't know, did they go to school for cosmetology? They must because they're just flawless. Let me tell you. Flawless. So there was this one. I walked in there and she was the most stunning woman I've ever seen. She was a large, huge, big woman. But she was gorgeous. She was a, a black woman. An older woman. She's probably my age. A little older. She had blonde hair. Oh, ladies, please don't speak up on me. Um, she had a blonde wig on, but it was beautiful. She had blue contacts. She had false eyelashes. She had the most flawless face I've ever seen. Her makeup was perfect on top. Like, it was phenomenal. I couldn't help myself as soon as I saw her. I was like, oh my god, you're gorgeous. She was like, oh, thank you. I couldn't not. I mean, she was stunning. I just, beautiful. Beautiful woman. And, uh, so I was like, oh my god, how do you get your face? She's like, you should see me before all this crap is on. She said she had a ton of shit on. Like, well, how do you get yourself looking like that? She says, girl, so she was, she said she's been doing makeup for about a year. And, uh, oh my God, the woman is just, she said, I love makeup. I'm like, I do too. I want to learn how to do all that. Gorgeous, gorgeous woman. So she said her daughter moved out about a year or so ago. And it was, it's her, 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 her son and her daughter. I guess she has a husband. I don't know. I didn't ask. If she didn't, somebody needs to snatch this woman up because she's just drop dead gorgeous. Let me tell you. But, um. She, when her daughter moved out, her son's like, oh, good, I'm going to move into her bedroom, the bigger bedroom. And the mother says, oh, no, 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 no. I got plans for that room. So she said she doesn't have a makeup bag. She doesn't have a makeup drawer. She doesn't have a makeup table. She said she's got a makeup room. I was like, oh, my God. 
I was like, I want to come to your house and see your makeup. Um, so, <laughs> we talked for a while. She was just so cool. Such, a, such an awesome woman. Um, and then there's a young girl. That, I mean, they're all gorgeous. They all wear, like, beautiful makeup. They're flawless looking. But I can't get over this woman. She's probably, she's probably a little bit older than me. And her skin was flawless. Like, you could look up to it and it looked like, like porcelain. Like, oh my God. You up, get up close to mine, you see wrinkles, you see pores, you see um, pigmentation from like the sun, like sunspots and freckles. I have freckles and you see stuff. Like her face, <clears throat> nothing. It was like she put silk on top of her face and just, ah, oh, just gorgeous. So anyway, I don't want to keep like spoiling over this woman, but she, she was gorgeous. Go to Alta. I'm not going to tell you where, but. Go to Alton. Look for the gorgeous black woman with the bond leg. <laughs> um, so anyway, we went in there, looked, walked around. So they have a lot of high-end stuff, and like I said, it, it's very expensive high-end stuff. But it does what the drugstore, some of what some of the drugstore stuff does not do, and um, some of it I really, really like. So I like to go and play. Like they have the samples, you can try them out while you're there and all that. And I dream. I'm like, oh, one day maybe I'll have eyeshadow, this eyeshadow. But meanwhile go over to the drugstore part of it my daughter tends to spend a lot of time over in the drugstore part she's such a bargain betty if it's not on clearance or on sale she does not get it she's just <laughs> god bless her heart so she's been big time into lipstick lip liners well not lip liners so much i've been more into lip liners the lipsticks and lip stains and all that stuff bright light spot sorry guys we're on that road um so she uh she uh, buys a lot of lipsticks, so I, I, I got to get into her lip drawer and see how much stuff I, I just, she's got so much stuff I get, but anyway, that was that, now I'm at work, it's Friday, and I'm late again, it is 9 o'clock Friday, oh my god, I keep getting in later and later and later and later and later, the big boss is in, let's see, my boss is here, I'm hoping not. guy is oh my god my car is squeaking so bad all right we i'm sorry about the lighting oh you hear that my power steering my car is falling apart oh my god car please don't i just paid it off a few months ago so i'm enjoying that little bit of extra money every month i should just save it in case i need a new car it's what i need to do i mean i it's what i need to do but i don't do it i'm like oh i got this money i can spend that anyway I'm at my destination. I'm late for work once again. What else is new? So, I hope you all enjoy your day. It's nice and sunny here. Oh, I didn't do temperature. It's 40 degrees today here. My hair's a mess. What else is new? Um, nice and sunny days. A little bit of clouds in the sky, but for the most part, we can see blue skies. And it is sunny here. So, I'm going to go make it sunny inside work. And I hope you all have a wonderful day. And I hope it's sunny where you are. If not, make it sunny. Subscribe below. All right, guys. I'll talk to you later. Bye.